fence is constructed is by an alternating pattern of these brick piers or, or brick towers um, interspersed with this decorative cast iron fence section. Uh, so what we're going to be doing today is actually rebuilding the brick piers from the base up in those areas where they were destroyed by the car. The iron sections have been taken away already uh, to a specialist, uh, G. Krug Ironworks. This is a uh, Baltimore-based blacksmith shop, which is actually the oldest continuously operated blacksmith shop in the country. Uh, Krug, in fact, was, was the company that made these fence sections originally. Uh, and so luckily they're still in business today and we'll have them to repair it. Once the brick uh, piers are reconstructed, then we'll be able to bring the iron sections back and then mortar them into place uh, with these anchors that you'll see here at this section of pier that's been partially deconstructed already. What we have here are the original fence sections that were struck by the car. Um, and as you can see, they're in pretty rough shape. Uh, down here, we actually can see the force of the impact from the vehicle. Uh, this is solid iron, this fence right here. So it really gives you an idea of just how much damage this fence suffered. Now, luckily, uh, when that fence was constructed in the 1950s, uh, the builders had the foresight to create something that we call attic stock, or basically just a few extra spare pieces. And so we were able to take that out, and then now we're gonna shine it up and reinstall it uh, in the new brick wall so that uh, luckily it's gonna be looking better than ever and will be identical to the original section. Thank you for joining us on this tour of the Star Spangled Banner Flag House as we explore what the City of Baltimore Department of General Services is doing to preserve Baltimore's history. Special thanks to our contractor, the Durable Restoration Company, and of course, our partner, the Star Spangled Banner Flag House Association. Please join us again next time as we explore city-owned historic landmarks. And remember, we are DGS.